Downhill is about this uh, American family of four who uh, go on what's supposed to be this idyllic family ski vacation in the Alps and encounter an avalanche. And the couple, Pete and Billy, have very different reactions to the avalanche. And while everyone comes out of the experience physically unharmed, there's a lot of emotional damage that they have to navigate. Swish. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a treat to read a script that had so much humanity in it, um, where the people weren't carefully sorted into good guys and bad guys, where there was, uh, where everyone was compromised and everyone was lovable and disappointing and interesting in the way that humans actually are in the world. We play Rosie and Zach, who are on a backpacking trip uh, in Europe and overlap with Pete and Billy. Zach works with Pete, and we get drawn into their family drama and have uh, different opinions about the situation. They were lovely. They're very like low key and funny and easy to talk to. And uh, two directors was good because um, there's twice as many of them. <laughs> <laughs> and it was such an epic shoot because we were in the Alps, you know, with record breaking snow stuff. And uh, I think, yeah, the more the merrier. Oh, they're such amazing performers and, and writers and, um, and directors. So they have such a good sense of storytelling and what goes into it. And it, it's always fun also to be directed by your actor peers. Also, a lot of times if you're on a movie where there's just one director, you think this is all well and good, but what if they die? Um, you're screwed. Right. But with Nat and Jim, it's like we could lose one of them, and we'd, and we'd be have good another. to go. They'd be. We wouldn't even. You know, we'd have to pause for an afternoon to grieve or whatever. Right. But then, you know, we probably would still make our day. Totally. I think one of the things that the movie says about marriage is if you want to have intimacy, you can't have perfection <laughs> you know that mm -hmm. that when that if you spend time with um that in order to be close with someone and have a relationship that spans over time you're going to encounter moments in which you fall far short of who you wish you were and you're going to have to reckon with that and your partner's going to have to reckon with that and um yeah i think you have to give up your fantasy of tidiness when you're trying to be close to people totally